An immune response involves events that unfold both locally, at the site of an infection, and at more distant sites, such as nearby lymph nodes. We can see the integration of the different parts of the immune response if we follow the course of a typical infection. Most pathogens are kept outside of the body by epithelial barriers, such as the epidermis, and are crossed only when there is an injury or tissue damage. After an injury, bacteria cross the epidermis and establish an infection in the underlying tissue. Phagocytic cells in the tissues, such as macrophages and neutrophils, engulf the pathogen. Dendritic cells are also phagocytic and are activated by binding pathogens to leave the site of infection and migrate to a lymph node. The migrating dendritic cells enter the lymphatic vessels and are collected in a draining lymph node. In the lymph node, T cells are activated by antigen presented by the dendritic cells and in turn activate B cells to secrete antibody. Effector T cells and antibody molecules return to the circulation. They leave the circulation again at the site of infection, where inflammatory mediators have induced changes in the blood vessel endothelium. CD4-positive T cells activate innate immune cells, such as macrophages, to become more cytotoxic, while antibody recruits complement to lice bacteria directly and to opsonize them, enhancing their uptake by phagocytes. In the case of a viral infection, activated CD8-positive T cells would kill any infected cells present.